Hi, my name is Will Cavella, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use this activity template with an integrated timer in Google Slides to create your timed learning activities in your class. It actually will help you time your activities even down to the second if you need to. Now, many of these timers are out there on YouTube and they're actually inserted into Google Slides as videos, but this one does it a little bit different. Um, those videos can be a little bit uh, problematic sometimes. For example, if that video gets deleted by the creator on YouTube and all of a sudden that video is no longer available in your learning activity or sometimes there's a weak internet signal and that timer won't load up or just won't play correctly in the slide presentation. So this will hopefully alleviate a lot of those issues. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to actually come down here. I'm going to click and drag over these bits of text here and these arrows and delete those. And I'm actually going to create the learning activity that I want to make right here. I'm just going to create a little graphic here. Now notice that when I created this quick graphic that I left this red box here. That indicates where the timer will be. If I scroll down in these slides, you can actually see where that timer will be in the bottom right hand corner. And that's what's represented by this red box. But I can go ahead and delete that now. And here are some examples on some other slides right here that I've created just to kind of give you a better idea. In fact, if you wanted to use one of these, you can actually click on the little watermark example text there and you can actually delete that if you wanted to and just use one of those slides as your template. I'm going to come back to my original slide that I created here. Now I'm going to go to File, Download, and I'm going to download a PNG just as a quick note. PNG is usually a bit better if it's very simple graphics. If it's something that has photography in it, you probably want to do JPEG, but I'm going to do PNG right now. I'm going to actually go up to slide, change background, then I'm going to choose image, click on browse, I'm going to find that image that I just downloaded, click on that, open it up. Now this is really important, I'm going to click add to theme. Then I'm going to click done. Now I'm going to delete slides 1 through 6, that's that first slide, and the examples. Now a quick little tip, I can delete each one of these individually, or I can save myself some time by clicking on the first one. Hold down the Shift button, and click on the last one that I wanted, and then just press Delete, and it deletes all those previous slides. Now I need to decide how long I want this presentation to be. Let's say when we do our reading section for the day that it's usually about five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this slide. I'm going to scroll down until I see the five minute mark, which is right there. Again, hold down the shift button. Then I'm going to go ahead and press delete. And so that gives me just about five minutes right there of time. Here's another little quick note on this last slide right here. I can go ahead and change this background real quick just to a white background. I'm not going to add the theme here because this is actually my end slide so that when it ends, this slide pops up automatically. You don't have to do this. That's just a little bit extra. So now that I have my five minute reading timer here, I'm going to go back up to File, Publish to the Web. And you'll see a Publish button down here. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure that I select every second and check this box, Start Slideshow as soon as the player loads. And then I click Publish. Click OK. Now I have a link I can copy there, just Control C. Now I can go open up a new tab. And I can see that my learning activity with integrated timer automatically plays. You can also tape the same link that you copied and you can bookmark it. So this again is something you do on a regular basis in your classroom. 
then you can go ahead and have that ready and you can just bookmark it every single day and it'll be ready to go.